Well, not one, but two local designers were given an opportunity of a lifetime last night thanks to the Richie Rich Project and Tucson Fashion Week. I'm so excited to welcome American fashion designer Richie Rich and Mohawk artist Gage John Lazari here with me, along with one of last night's winners, designer Aaron Cox. All three of you, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having, thanks for having us. us. This is so exciting. Mm. Richie, I have to start with you. Sure. You are too fabulous for words. <laughs> I, you're here visiting mm. us from New York, but for our viewers who who haven't had the opportunity to see you in action yet. Tell us about your work and, and about you. Um, well, I grew up in basically New York, like in the club scene in the 90s, like just like doing parties with all our friends. And the, I call it the lighter side of the club scene, not the darker side of the bad stuff, like, and just creating fashion and art. So then little by little, I would make t-shirts for friends and that grew into more and more and more. Then my friend Trevor Rains and I started this line called Heatherette. Which I love the name. You're our Heather. It's hey. perfect. <laughs> and then we, Patricia Field, our friend, um, uh, was styling the Sex and the City ads, but we didn't know. And I went to Japan with her. To, I was singing at the time as well. And I had my name, Richie, on my shirt. And she's like, make one for Carrie. I'm like, who's Carrie? And it turns out it's Carrie Bradshaw, like all the ads around the world. Uh, yeah, we know it well. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So that. That started it off. That kick so started that was, I mean, and what that a great started start. started my career. <laughs> and here you are, and you're just absolutely huge now. And so Tucson is so excited to have you here for Tucson. I love it here. Oh my gosh. Well, it's our pleasure. And now, Gage, you are an amazing artist as well. Tell us a little bit about your background, and then I want to hear how you two kind of got together with this great partnership. Um, well, I'm Native American, and I'm from Montreal, Canada. Um, I was born, raised there, but I grew up on reserves from. Montreal to about upstate New York City. So we have a whole bunch of different places. And I grew up basically everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, I paint. Um, I just start, I, well, I started in painting, but now it's like, it, it's more, we're in fashion now. So um, I'm compl it's, it's completely changing, versatile from, it's. It's amazing to see how the art has kind of developed because, yeah. you know, you think a painter, it, you don't usually pair that up with um, fashion design. Yeah. But that's why this story is so amazing. So Richie, kind of tell us how you found Gage. Well, I was on Instagram and uh, I, I, I just, I think I stumbled upon his art and I was like, wow, like it's so like, we're wholly in like that vibe of New York I love and the world I love. And I, we just kept like going back and forth on DM and then I'm like, just call me. And then it turned out we knew, we knew all these people in New York like socially, and but we'd never met before. And then I'm like, let's collaborate and then and he was all about it. But it's like we've known each other forever. That's yeah. a great part. That's amazing. So he's actually helping you with your collection. Yeah, we're going to call it Rich Engage, like E-N, like Rich Engage. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be like a capsule collection of like, it'll be art, but fashion with art. And like yeah. a really cool like pop culture mixture, I think. Like just definitely like it's going to go boop. It sounds like exactly what we need. I cannot wait to see this. We're sending so you something, please. I right? hope yes. you are. I'm going to wear it on air. So <laughs> I would love that. Well, I know we don't want to keep Aaron out of the loop. Okay. Last night was a really big and a very exciting night. So let's talk about the Richie Rich project and mm -hmm. exactly what went down last night. So basically, like uh, Paula Taylor and Melanie, um, they they called me like I don't know, like six months ago, and we're, I'd never met them before. And they were like, "We run Tucson Fashion uh, Tucson Fashion Week. Uh, would you come do it?" I'm like, "That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to be in Arizona. I've never been here before." And um, so last night the event was like eight. Well, it was nine designers? Nine designers. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so John, Gage, and I, like, we chose one, but then we're like, why not make it two? So we were planning on picking one, one but yeah. you liked two so much yeah, that yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, couldn't, we couldn't resist. So Erin, you are one of the yes. big winners. So tell us about you. Tell us about your background and your design. Um, background design, um, pretty much started working with opera, doing costume design, and then that, involved, that evolved into having my own vintage shop I did for about four to five years called Preen. And I always knew how to sew, so we had a sewing station always for alterations. And... Then that slowly turned into um, Southwestern Bell alterations and design. So now I'm just a freelance seamstress and designer. I really specialize in custom wedding gowns and gala gowns, but don't mind doing basic alterations. Incredible. So what does it mean to have this kind of recognition from these two top amazing artists? Uh, it's really exciting, and I feel really honored and, yeah, very yeah. privileged. Well, it's going to be an exciting road ahead. Now tell us who the other winner is so we don't leave them out. Liz. She's a Liz, and she's amazing. Liz. Yeah, she has like a burst of personality, and that's also like with Aaron and I think both Gage, John and Gage and I, like we were like, they both have such, um, 
their their garments like kind of cried out with good like energy like like that's I always say like clothing on a hanger is boring. I mean, it takes yeah. the person to make it alive, you know, like and absolutely we saw that in their designs, like yeah. For sure. I think that's great. So the real question is, what's next? What happens with these winners? What do they get to do now? So October Fashion Week here, October 14th, we're going to be at the Mocha Museum. Um, and so, like, they're going to help sort of, like, do, like, four to five looks in the collection that we're doing based on the mood boards and things that we have. Like, so it's, it's like, it's like a, a rad internship, like... It's fun. A rad internship indeed. I wish <laughs> I, I want to be in this group. You're welcome to come. <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, I would be no help to you, but Aaron, what is it going to really mean to you to kind of get to collaborate with these big names and, and kind of just like maybe go a little bit outside of your comfort zone? I think it's going to be great because I've just been, um, I've been working alone for so long and I love collaborating with people. And so I just, yeah, I'm always just all about expanding and yeah. Yeah, keeping it open. And we're going to be able to see this collection at Tucson Fashion Week. Yes. Yep. So Please you, come. Are you yes. kidding? I we wouldn't miss it. I was there last year, and Great. I'll be there with bells on this year. So, you guys, I want to thank you so much for thank coming you. in this morning. Thank you. And congratulations thank you. to you. And I can't wait to see what the collection is going to have. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much. <laughs> Now, you guys, save the date now for Tucson Fashion Week starting October 13th. For more details, call 481-9759 or log on to TucsonFashionWeek.com.